In previous videos, I've shown you how to create components to reuse things over and over again. For example, like this cutting board and this little MacBook. When we created these components, we just created them and we didn't really set any of the options because these particular components just generally get put on countertops uh, and they're pretty easy to use. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to glue a component to a surface. In the last video, we actually learned how to unglue a wall cabinet so that we can move it around and do different things. But in this example, I'm going to show you actually how to create an outlet like this and set it so it will automatically glue to walls. So, if you use the previous me method of making a component and just saving it out and not setting its gluing preferences, you're going to get a component that could work like this. It'll come in, it'll be attached to your mouse pointer just like these other components that we created, but it's not smart enough to know that it needs to stick to a wall. So you'll end up with a frustrating situation like this where you go to set this outlet down in this wall and it's halfway inside the wall. And then to get it to work, you have to pull it out, click it again, set it back down against the wall. Not really the most efficient way to model. And what's worse is since this component has no intelligence, if we go to put it up against a wall that's facing the other direction, you're going to get an even worse problem like this. So what I'm going to show you how to make is an outlet that actually works like this, where it knows it's up against the wall, and when you get to a wall that faces a different direction, it automatically glues itself to the adjacent wall, which makes it really, really easy to use. So first thing you need to do is draw the component. Next thing you need to do is highlight it all, right or secondary click it, and do make component just like we've done in all the other videos. Here though we're going to do things a little bit differently. We'll give this a name, we'll call it outlets glued, and we're going to say glue to any, and that means that it will glue to any surface, a horizontal surface, a vertical surface, or even a slope surface we're going to say set component axes because right now if you look down here at this outlet you can see this gray plane that's the plane that this component is going to glue to so what we want to do is get that gray plane so that it's lined up with the wall which is ultimately what we want this outlet to stick to so we're going to say set component axes now it'll take some experimenting to get really used to this but as a rule you want to go in the bottom left hand corner of your component, click once, and set the red axes to be the left and the right. Okay, so I'm going to go along the bottom here like this. And the blue ax, uh, the green axes rather, I'm going to point it up from the bottom. So now you see that gray plane is now up against the wall, and the origin of the red and the green line are on the back of this outlet, which means it will stick to the wall and stick out from the wall instead of be inside like that previous component uh, that we made. This is going to take a little experimenting to get used to it, but if you just remember, bottom left hand corner of your component, red is always left and right, and green goes up and down on your glued component. You may have to refer back to this video for it to really stick. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create this component. And now, I'm actually going to right click this and save as, and I'm going to save this component in that favorite components uh, folder that we made in a previous video. So we'll save it as outlet glued, and we'll go ahead and replace it. So now, in my favorite components folder over here, I have outlet glued. If I click that, it'll bring it in, and it will automatically glue this outlet to any surface that I set it on. So really cool way to make components like this. You can do this for picture frames, uh, light fixtures, wall-mounted cabinets, even floor-mounted cabinets, faucets, any sort of thing that you want to automatically stick to a wall. This is a really, really handy way to make components.